I got a lot of reaction. Um, I'm bringing this up because I, I keep hearing people talk about it, people tweet about it. You know, you've got uh, people from, uh, you know, respected baseball pundits that have to react to it. They'll do their mailbags, and people always ask the question about Tarek Skubal. Should the Tigers trade Tarek Skubal? What could the Tigers get in a, in a trade for if they were to trade Tarek Skubal? And people are responding to it. So thought I'd bring it up. I don't like the idea of trading Tarek Skubal. I, I want to hang on to the guys that I think are corner pieces of the franchise, someone you can build around, someone who can be here and, and help you win a championship. Um, but I'm willing to listen to the other side of it. I'm not going to be completely stubborn about this. Uh, someone says, I don't want to trade Scooble. I'd rather extend him. However, taking into account his contract ends in two and a half years, Scott Boris is his agent, making it difficult but not impossible to extend him. How much he will cost versus how much Illich and Harris would be willing to give him, and I don't believe the Tigers will be in the World Series window before his contract ends in two and a half years, leads me to believe that trading him is the best thing for the long term of the Tigers. That's from Robbie at work. A lot there in a text, but um, and we appreciate the text. Yeah, I mean that's that's a, a kind of an unknown factor about this. Is are the, well, how much money are the Tigers willing to spend to to hang on to him? Are they willing to extend him now, or are they going to wait this thing out until he hits free agency? Well, you mentioned earlier they did spend some money this offseason. Cole Keith, right? They gave him a contract that he necessarily didn't um, earn. But they felt that they that his projection was going to be good. He was going to be a really good player. So let's save some money. They they gave him that contract. Let's just be honest to save some money in the future, right? Yes. If you extend Scubel now, you're trying to save money for the future, right? Because in the future, when he does hit free agency, because he's yeah, you would assume he's going to cost even more. A, like if you get him a six year contract now, it would cost you less than what it was if you waited for his free agent year, which is yes. 2027 is early as free agent year. And salaries have go, will go yeah, up by then. Of course. And so if they do it now, they'll save, quote unquote, save some money. Um, but the other thing is, keeping that in mind, you've got them for the rest of this year plus two more years that you really don't have to pay. And that saves even more money than giving an extension now. Yeah. But the, another thing that Tex mentioned, though, is the window. When are they going to be a World Series contender? When are they going to make the playoffs? Gator, when do you think they're going to make the playoffs? And if so, they're going to have to get some bats then. Yes, yeah, without a How question. How do we get those bats? I'm saying they could do it next year to be a playoff team as early as next year. They could. But they are going to have to go out and in free agency or in trades and find something. They got to trade a bargaining chip in in, uh, in Jack Flaherty. Uh, you got, and now, this sucks because it, this is just dumb luck that Flaherty's got this back issue that is flared up, and we don't know how good he's going to be. He won't pitch again until this Thursday, more than likely, against Cleveland. Um, but if he is good to go and pitches like the Jack Flaherty we saw this year, then you could still probably you could probably get a at least a piece that is going to help your lineup. I would imagine. Now it would be a a prospect you're getting, but it's somebody's prospect that is ready to play this year, but they're just they're blocked by somebody. Now, can you get one of the Baltimore players? I don't know if you can get one of those guys, but you'd certainly try. There are other players around in, in, in baseball that they, that they're in other prospects from other teams that uh, maybe there's a guy that can help this team right away. But it's it, it. I'll admit this: if you're trading Scooble, I mean you're getting those guys. You're going to get somebody's top two prospects in an organization that could likely help your team out right now. What do the Tigers have? Just moving forward, I mean, again, it's the same thing we talk about with the the Red Wings, that you're hoping your young guys take another step forward. I really like what I saw <laughs> in three games. It's not even – it's ridiculous to say it. Uh, I really like what I saw from Parker Meadows when he came back, and now he's hurt again. Not again, but he's hurt, which stunts his growth. I love what I've seen from Colt Keith. Love what I've seen from Riley Green. The last three months, Riley Green is is OPS has been over 900, 900, and now it's like 1,200 for the month in, uh, here in July. Love what I've seen there. That's nice growth. But I can no longer count on Spencer Torkelson being the guy and, and, and developing. He had 31 home runs last year. Thought for sure that's a guy. He may not be a guy. He's not showing it right now in Toledo. And you, you were, you still had hope for him for the yes. longest because he started off slow last year as well. You're like, well, you know, he's actually on a better pace, yeah, we'll and, you know. You're like, hey, 
No, <laughs> it's no, not no. happened. Uh, you know, Jackson Job was doing great. Then he got hurt. And now he's he's back from his rehab. He's doing some rehab with uh, with Lakeland. I think he's moving back up now to, to Toledo this week. Um, you know, is he going to be back on the fast track? Well, as a guy who's a third baseman, he's not a great defensive third baseman. But if he can hit, he can hit, and that's all. You, uh, that's what I want in this lineup. Give me guys that can hit. But it's unknown because you don't know if he can do it at the major league level, and it's not like he was hitting three hundred at, at Toledo, so uh, or at Erie for that matter. So I'm not sure. You know how you Lee is is doing great at at Erie, but it's Double A. It's not triple. He still hasn't seen the next level of pitching yet, and he's only 21 years old. I like the guys they have in the minors, but they're years away. So at answering your question about the World Series window, to build a World Series team, I feel like that's probably four years away, three or four years away before you start to see those guys. And, and then you have to hope that those are guys that are contributing, like Max Clark and Kevin McGonigal, and maybe some others that spring up here. Jackson Job could be a huge part of this team as early as this year to show his worth. But you're probably not going to want to pitch him too much more this year anyway. So next year is really his his opportunity. So if Job is on in the rotation next season, you know, things could be going in a better direction, but it doesn't help the lineup. The lineup is the problem. Because they don't have a shortstop. Because they don't have a third baseman. Because they don't have a first baseman. You know, they have guys that are good, not good. Great in the outfield, although Riley Green's been really good. I'm counting on Kerry Carpenter come back. I am. I like Kerry. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one who loves Kerry Carpenter here at the station. Um, but he's got a, a, a past with with injuries, and now that that's a concern. Is he even is he a guy? But I mean, those are major holes of production because these days shortstops are productive, third basemen are productive. First baseman has got to be productive. That's where you get your power. And then maybe an outfielder you need to throw in there. Catcher, I mean, you know, we're, I'm, I'm waiting for Dylan Dingler to get his opportunity with the Tigers because he's done everything you expect him to do offensively at Toledo. He's been great. But can he do it at this next level? You know, Jake Rogers every once in a while runs into one. Uh, and they like Jake Rogers for the way he handles the pitching staff. I mean, that's Tarek Skubal's guy. So you're going to move away from from Jake Rogers. Carson Kelly is someone who might have some trade value. And if you were to put Kelly with somebody with one, with Jack Flaherty, perhaps maybe you you get somebody else somebody else's prospect. 